Hi there, this is Jarvis the AI voiceover of 123 Puzzle Me, with a new puzzle explainer. Today I will explain the 40 squares puzzle. In this puzzle are some cool tricks built in, that you have to see. Like all 123 Puzzle Me puzzles, also this one is made by Leander. Leander is the guy you see now after a fight with his mother-in-law. He might be an evil puzzle creator, but he got beat up by a girl. Let's have a look at the puzzle. Four lines, but only two objects. A yellow square, and an orange square. What we also see is that the squares stand in different positions, and in the last line, they are combined. Finally, we have the strange title 40 squares, whatever that may mean we will find out later. What I know from Leander's puzzles is, that the easier it looks, the harder it will be. And this puzzle looks very easy. Let's start at the top. Three squares, all yellow and all in the same position. Square, plus square, plus another yellow square equals 12. One yellow square must be 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. Yep, the yellow square is 4, no doubt. The second line. 2 times an orange square and one yellow square. Orange, plus orange, times yellow equals 40. Orange, plus orange, times 4 equals 40. So the orange square must be 8. 8 plus 8, times 4 equals 40. First we multiply before we add. Now we know the value of the two squares. So the rest should be easy. So let's do line 3. Yellow, times orange, minus orange, equals 12. 4, times 8, minus 8 equals 12. That can't be right. So when a square turns, the value changes. Let's see if we can find out. First of all, both squares are turned equally, and we also know that the value can't be higher it must be lower. So what do we have? Yellow, times 8, minus orange equals 12. We also know, that the value difference of yellow and orange is, 1 to 2. The yellow square is 4, and the orange square is 8. The value of the rotated squares have to be lower, so we have three options. The first. Yellow is 1, and orange is 2. Or. The second option. Yellow is 2, and orange is 4. Or. The last option. Yellow is 3 and orange is 6. Of course we can have a look as well at values like 1.5 and 3, or 2.75 and 5.5. But this is less likely in Leander's puzzles. So let's look at the outcome. The first, 1 times 8, minus 2, ain't 12. The last, 3 times 8, minus 6, ain't 12 either. Then it must be the second. 2 times 8, minus 4 equals 12. Yes, that is correct. So now we know that if the squares are turned, the value is 50% of the original value. Now we have. The yellow square has a value of 4. The orange square has a value of 8. The turned yellow square is half the value of the standing yellow square and that is 2. And finally. The turned orange square has a value of 4. Time to do the last line. Okay, I need very good eyes to do this, and if you work on a phone it's almost impossible to count the squares in the first two objects of the last line. What to do? Well remember the title. 40 squares? The puzzle is named after the number of squares that are used in the puzzle. So let's do the count. 9 squares in the first 3 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares in the last object of the last line. 9 plus 5 equals 14 squares. But we need 40 squares. 26 squares left in the first two objects of the last line. The squares are equal in size and number of squares, so we can calculate by logic how many each object has. And that is 13. If they have 13 squares, then this means that the first and the last square must be the same. So we start with yellow and we end with yellow. Conclusion, we must have 7 yellow squares and 6 orange squares in one object. Time to do the math for the first object. 7 times 4, plus 6 times 8 equals, 28 plus 48 equals 76. Yes, even though we can't count all the squares without a Hubble telescope, we can solve it with the hint and the logic. The second object in the last line works the same. 7 times 2, plus 6 times 4, equals, 14 plus 24 equals 38. Now we have the value of the first two objects of the last line. Let's see what the last object brings us. We see 5 squares, 4 small squares and 1 big square. But which color do they have? 
If you look quick, you could say that you see four times a yellow square and one time an orange square. But is that right? Nope, so have a good look. We can say that we see for sure one yellow and one orange square. But the three other squares are composed squares. The two smaller squares in the corners are 75% yellow and 25% orange, and when you look at the big square you see the same. So what is the value of those squares? 0 0.75 times 4, plus 0 0.25 times 8, equals 3 plus 2, equals 5. So the three composed squares have a value of 5. Now we can calculate the value of the last object. And that is 4, plus 8, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, equals 27. Now we have determined the value of the objects of the last line, we can start to calculate the value of the question mark. 76 plus 38 times 27 equals our question mark. 76 plus 1026 equals 1102. 1102 is according to us the most logical answer of this 123 puzzle me puzzle. It's possible that you don't agree with the answer, that is okay. It is just a puzzle. If you like my explainers, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment in the comment box below. If you don't like them, let us know as well, so we can make our explainers even better. This was Jarvis, your loyal AI voiceover. Time for me take a rest and book Leander's new holiday. Any tips, I'm thinking about sending him to Siberia for a month of two. Have a nice day and see you at the next puzzle.